Hello, sixth grade team. This is your special education visual content specialist for grades six through eight social studies. Today, we're going to be looking at how we can support our students' effective engagement in the writing process through explicit writing strategies. This video is aligned to the sixth grade curriculum in Passport to Social Studies. In this video, we'll be using SDI in order to engage and provide access to all learners uphold student IEP goals aligned to expressive language and written expression, and support student development and mastery of writing skills through the use of explicit writing process strategies. Upon your use of this activity in the context of your classroom, your students will then be able to apply writing process strategies in order to demonstrate an understanding of topics discussed through an essay or extended response. One activity that might seem unconventional for such prescribed curriculums is a free write. A free write is an activity that allows students to process information thoroughly through guiding questions. It is basically writing anything you'd like for a set period of time without stopping. This is how it is different from brainstorming. It allows students to get into the mindset of writing and it allows for writing sessions to be more productive. Free writes are a great way to kickstart a student's ideas, especially before drafting uh, an extended response or writing a full essay. Although this might seem unconventional to some prescribed curriculums, it is a great opportunity for students to express what they know and for them to be able to actually see what they know on paper prior to engaging in such a full task. I like to use free writes prior to having students write an essay, for example, because it allows students to process the information and it allows for that physical and mental engagement. Free writes also reinforce creative writing skills such as elaboration and allow students to follow through on full prompt responses. As far as language acquisition skills, I like to use free writes because it is a tool that supports the refinement of expressive language skills in writing for students who are SWD and L students. One great opportunity to apply a free write activity within the Passport to Social Studies curriculum would be in the final writing task. In this task, students are are asked to research features of Egyptian and Mesopotamian civilizations in order to create a virtual book that compares and contrasts these civilizations. In order for students to be able to give such details, it would be very beneficial to have students complete a free write in order to get those ideas flowing and to start to see what those connections are between both civilizations because they are asked to write one paragraph per each category uh, for each civilization being compared and contrasted. So this is a great opportunity to help those creative juices start to flow prior to engaging in the actual final writing piece. Here, in days 19 to 23 of the sixth grade curriculum of Passport to Social Studies, Unit 2, titled Complex Societies, there is a case study for Egypt and Mesopotamia. And like I said before, students are asked to write one paragraph per category for each civilization being compared and contrasted. So that's five comparative categories within their visual book. In order to kick off students' elaboration or um, descriptive details, you want to consider some free write prompts. And these are just suggestions. You are most definitely welcome to create your own prompts as you see fit within the context of your classroom and the needs of your students as individuals. But here we see three different questions that you are able to provide students with. And again, you want students to write for an extensive period of time, so maybe 10, 15 minutes of writing while providing these prompts. So for example, you might want to start off 
by asking how is the architecture unique in the Mesopotamian civilization or within the Egyptian civilization. And they might begin to start describing um, the architecture for both societies. You might want to ask what characteristics made each society's government effective? What was the role of women in these societies? And you want to continuously provide these prompts so that they are able to keep writing throughout the period of time that is being allocated for this activity. You might want to even take this opportunity to have students use sensory details. So um, if you were in ancient Egypt, what kind of architecture would you see, for example? Or maybe you want to use descriptive details. What are five words to describe um, the Mesopotamian government, for example? Some final considerations for free rights. Free rights are a great way to differentiate a construction because it allows time to process. Again, this is an extensive creative writing activity. Um, you give be anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes of free writing um, and it's continuous, you don't stop. So it does allow students to that time that they might need to process the information as they go. Free rights allow students to express information in a more autonomous way. So while they are responding to your prompts, all their ideas are coming from themselves. And it is a quiet environment. It is an environment that allows them to just anchored in into the writing that they're doing in the moment. Free rights promote active engagement in the writing process, and it makes thinking and learning visible as well as permanent.